Let's get waiting. Goosebumps. Okay. Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing Goosebumps Slappy's Tales of <gasps> Okay. That was a little bit weird. Okay. It's a Goosebumps comic book instead of the chapter books you might know. It's a pretty good book. It at has, instead of one story, it has four stories, and the stories are, I'm going to tell you them in order instead of just randomly saying them. The stories are a soccer on sock, a shocker on shock street, sorry for my bad pronouncing, the werewolf of fever swamp, ghost beach, and night of the living dummy. It's really well illustrated. Each story is made by a different person, which is really unique. Here's some pictures. Eh, cool. Cool pictures, right? So here's the back. I'll give you a little bit of time to read it. And then I'll go and read it. So here's the back. It's the back. It's the back. Okay, now I'll read the back to you so you if you didn't have enough time I'll it basically summarizes each story and who wrote it. And also this about Slappy 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 See, he's a dummy that slaps your face like this. Ow That really hurt. Okay, the back says good Goosebumps is back to chill you to the bone. Oh, my bone. Slappy the evil dummy introduces four terrifying tales from the master of her R.L. story. In a shocker on Stock Street, Jamie Tuggleson captures the thrills, chills, and deadly spills of a brother and sister doing the dream job testing rides in the movie theme park where special effects are really special. Does that mean they have really good special effects? I want to go watch the movie. Hmm. I'm going to go watch the movie. Hmm. Back from the movie, it was really, really good, actually. And then after that paragraph, we have... With the shadowy illustrations, Gabriel Herzenses. How do you even spell that? So if I'm pronouncing it wrong, the names of last names are pretty weird. Creates the perfect atmos atmosphere in the Werewolf of Fever Swamp, a spooky story about a boy and his dog who go sniffing around in a lonely swamp and wish that they hadn't. Is there a wishing well in this? Okay, just kidding. It, it, there's no wishing well. But there's a really big twist at the end. Huge twist. Really big. The third paragraph is Ted Mayfair. Mayfair? Is at his creep... Is his creepy best... What? This doesn't make sense. Okay, sorry for that. I just didn't really get the sentence. Okay, I'll start again. <laughs> Ted, Ted Mayfair is at his is at his creepy best in Ghost Beach, a scary ghost story about a brother and sister who investigate a local legend and discover a terrible secret about the family. Yeah, there's a huge, ginormous twist. Yeah. Okay. Let me fade it again. Okay, for the fifth paragraph, finally, Dave Roman draws his horrifying pictures for Night of the Living Dummy, the origin story about the most evil, the most evil of ventriloquist dummies, Slappy. Seriously? Why did they name him Slappy? Because he just slaps people? I even read the book and he doesn't slap anyone. Hmm. 
weird. So that was Goosebumps Slappy's Tales of Horror review. I hope you liked it. Subscribe, like, and I'll just go show you a little bit of the front, the back, and the pictures, and then I'll end the video. End. I am the end. <laughs> okay, here's the front. The back. And here's some of the pictures. And sorry, this is a little hard. Okay, hope you like this video. Subscribe if you liked it. Or, like, it doesn't matter. Oh, you can do both. That was biscuits. That was on your... Sorry. I'm really bad. I'm really bad at saying stuff today. Okay, I'm Biscuit, your host. And that was the Goosebumps Slappy Stairs of Horror View. Hope you liked it. And bye!